The Northbox 6XL kit comes with a set of panels and some electrical components, some hardware, and a power supply. The Deluxe kit comes with fans pre-installed. If you have one of the Bear kits, you will have to install the fans yourself. The first thing you need to do is to install some of the hardware for the tension system. The tension cords are held in place using a series of bolts, washers, and eye nuts. You'll notice that some of them are black and some of them are silver. Start with the black ones. In the panels that don't have grills, insert the bolt with a washer on it through the hole in the middle, and then put a washer on the other side, and then install the ring nut. You don't need to make it super tight. Go ahead and do the same thing on the second panel. If you have a bare kit, it's time to install the fans. Make sure that the label of the fan is pointing towards you. And make sure that the power cable is not pointing out towards the sides of the panels. Then give it a good press onto the pre-installed clips. You'll notice that the middle fan is missing one clip. You're going to insert another one of the ring nut bolts into there. This time, use the silver set. Be careful not to over tighten here as you may break the plastic. You don't need to make it super tight as most of the stress is actually going to be on the washer and not on the fan. There is one mistake here. When you do finish tightening the ring nut, try to make it parallel to the edge of the panel so it's not sticking out. Now go ahead and do the same thing on the other panel. One of the fan panels has a friction corner on either end. Start off with this panel on the bottom. Now look for the side panel that has the power hole. And insert into the edge of the friction corner. Do the same with the other panel that has the fans. Now flip the whole thing around and add the bottom panel. I've made another error here. You should line up the panels so that the rubber bumpers are on the same corner. Now it's time to install the electrical system. If you've bought one of our deluxe kits, 
they may sometimes come with fans that use something called power sharing technology. Basically, the fans daisy chain together so that you only need to connect power at one point and then the power is shared among several fans. Once you've chained them all together, you hook up your power harness and it will power multiple fans without using a hub. Instead, if you have one of our bear kits, you will get a couple of hubs to use. First thing you need to do is install the strain relief onto the power input. Feed the cable in one part at a time through the little hole in the side. And then line up the oval shape with the strain relief and press it into place. Then you connect the hubs together. Then simply hook up one fan into each of the inputs of the hubs. You'll see that the connectors have these little tabs that you need to line up. It's to ensure that you don't insert them incorrectly. Now take out your power supply to do a test. Make sure that all the fans are running. Now it's time to insert the tension cords. One of the cords goes across horizontally. Loop them through the eye nuts and then press the little tension device so that both the ends are going through it. You don't want to make it too tight at first. We're going to install one of the filters first and then we'll tighten them up. Do the same for the vertical tension cord. Now it's time to install the filters. Our pre-built systems use the 3M Filtreat 20 by 20 by one size filter, either MPR 1900 or 2200. Both of those filters are MERV 13 rated. Any MERV 13 rated filter will work. You can even put two inch filters in. The filters are designed for airflow to go in one direction. Just make sure that you see the 20 by 20 by one label is facing outwards. It's also a good idea to have the pleats of the filter going vertically as they may sag over time. Now give the tension cords a nice pull so it's nice and tight. And then use the supplied nylon cable ties to tie up all the cables in a neat way so that none of the cable ends fall into the fans. Make sure the tension cords are nice and tight before you add the second filter. You may need to pull apart the sides of the frame a little bit to make it all fit. It's a pretty snug fit. But the tension cords allow you to make adjustments. Make sure everything's pressed in nice and tight and you're basically done. 
There may be a few gaps there, just give them a press. If you decided to get a set of the optional filter frames, they simply snap in through the little holes on the side and are held together with friction. These frames are purely aesthetic and don't affect the performance of the system. Your Northbox 6XL is now fully assembled and ready to use. Thank you for your support.